you don't cast last lap. Now everybody go shy make fast, shy yo. But I must say, see they go bow for you, it's hard to, cause now it's into discourse. Oh my, oh my, oh my. serious gist is on ground this afternoon. Serious, serious, a very, very important gist. Oh, total, no way, it has total. So a serious gist have reached ground this afternoon. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking to you now. Um, and I know this relationship cancel away there, so this guy. Uh, we proposed to a day a few months ago. Uh, okay, now Solomon, the son of Bushi. As I am talking to you now, <laughs> they don't have a breakfast. <laughs> Over oh, the don't give a breakfast. Fresh breakfast with, with mayonnaise and a touch of butter with some sausage to balance it. So that we are called Bushi Noa. You understand? It's a Bushi Noa breakfast. Solomon Bushi just. Disclosed online that uh, uh, his pre marriage, his pre marriage has broken up. And you know, as me that I am, uh, as me as me am, uh, you understand, as me as me, is, uh, all of us are guys in this country. Uh, I don't read them more than I know here, yeah, you understand, because some people read the Twitter, uh, you can't read the thing they hide their secret. As if I go clear on our Facebook and Instagram, <laughs> they don't press on the Babushi ass. You don't wake up. You don't wake up. You don't wake up. And don't be sad, be bad below. Uh, because people call them not what they are people oh, bad news. Uh, it's not as if I'm happy. I'm not a bad below, you understand? But sometimes, eh, when somebody too do it, eh, he could be the same as my big class. You understand? Sometimes, eh, when you want to talk for topic, topic where you know nothing about, in a sweet or nice, when they give you big class, when you see the way they be. You understand? Solomon Bushi spent his whole life. Massaging the ego of women, romancing their character and packaging their, 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 their womanhood. And I'm not against pampering women. But when you say things that cannot be backed up by experience and facts, when you, you, when you say things you know nothing about, this is a single man that has not been married for money to nights before, advising married women. And so, mumu, 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 married women are taking his advice and giving their husband's problem at home. I remember telling a young lady that, is this guy married? He said, no, but the guy knows what he's talking about. I said, this guy does not know what he's talking about until he's married. Let's leave him to be married for a year or two. You understand? Um, a wise man once said, you don't know if you're a thief until they have left money with you. Let him be married first. We don't know how gentle a man he is until he has lived with a woman in the same house for a while. Now, um, trust me, I'm an advocate for pampering women, but I'm also an advocate for drawing the line. Do you understand? There's a reason why God called the man the head, and the woman is supposed to follow his lead. And there's a reason why God said, husbands, love your wives and pamper your wives. You understand? You have to do the two. You have to love pamper, which is one, and then you have to lead. Once you let the both of them cross each other, you have lost it. When Solomon Bushi was advising married people here, I just didn't look there. Simon now weeks. Make him marry for one year. He not even marry. Now, primarily, he not survive engagement. He not survive proposal. Proposal now, he not survive. He faints for old. We go see, I go take the advice people will give. This is the 